Hi guys, today I am going to discuss about Lucky Jim, Kingsley Amis. It was published 1954 and it won Somerset Mom Award. Visual characters Jim Diction, main protagonist, Margaret Peel, fellow lecturer of diction, Barton Wells, son of Professor Wells. Christine Collin, girlfriend of Barton, Professor Ned Wells, head of department. Let's discuss its summary. Jim Dixon is a lecturer in medieval history at a Red Brick University. He has made an unsure start and towards the end of the academic year he is concerned about losing his provisionary position in the department. So he tries to maintain a good relationship with his absent-minded head of department, Professor Wells. Okay. He also ensured the publication of his first scholarly article but eventually discovers that the editor to whom he submitted it has translated it into Italian and passed it off as his own. In the meantime, Margaret Peel, a fellow lecturer who is recovering from suicide attempt in the wake of a broken relationship with another man. Okay, while she is staying with Professor Wells, he holds a musical weekend that seems to offer an opportunity for Diction to advance his standing among his colleagues. The atom goes wrong. The drunken Diction drops a lighted cigarette on the bed and burning a hole in the streets. During the same weekend, Diction meets Kristin Callan, a young Londoner. She was the latest girlfriend of Professor Wilson. Professor Wilson Barton an amateur painter. After a bad start, Diction realizes that he is attracted to Christine, who is far less potentials than she initially appears. Diction's growing closeness to Christine upset Barton, who is using her to raise her well-connected Scottish uncle and get a job from him. Okay. Then Diction rescues Christine from the university annual dance after Barton treats her offhandedly and takes her home in a taxi. The pair kiss and make a date for later. But Christine admits that she feels guilty about seeing Dixon's behind Barton back and about Dixon's supposed relationship with Margaret. The two decide not to see each other again. But when Barton calls on Dixon to warn him of the glass, he cannot resist the temptation to quarrel with Barton until they fight. At this point, the novel reaches its climax during Dixon's public lecture on a marrying land. Having attempted to calm his nerves by drinking too much, he caps his uncertain performance by denouncing the university culture of arty pretentiousness and passes out. Okay. 
Wells lets Dixon know privately that His employment will not be extended, but Christine's uncle offers Dixon the coveted job of assisting him in London. Okay. Later, Dixon meets Margaret's ex-boyfriend, who reveals that he had not been her fiance, as she had claimed. Comparing notes, the two realizes that the suicide attempt was picked as a piece of neurotic emotional blackmail. Finally, feeling free of Margaret, at last, Dixon responds to Christine's phone request to see her off. As she leaves for London, there he learns from her that she is leaving Burton after being told that he was having an affair with the wife of one of Dixon's former colleagues. At last, they decide to leave for London together. And then walk off arm in arm, outraging the Welches as they pass on the street. This is the brief summary of Jim Dixon.